You know, Matt, uh, as far as if you were someone that was controlling the Pac-12, if you were someone in the position of Brett Yormark and the Big 12, what would you do? What would you do to you, you think is not just speculation or rumor, what do you yeah. truly think they can do? Well, I realize that I'm coming at this from a very different perspective because the, over, the, the dominant conventional wisdom, and this is true, I think, even if you talk to athletic directors, is the fact that the Big Ten and the SEC are going to make so much more money in tier one television distributions over the coming decade is a existential threat to our conference. We cannot possibly hope to compete if we are making $55 million and the Big Ten is making $105 million. And respectfully, I would say, I don't actually think that that's true because there is a, a very clear point here where money literally doesn't buy anymore. The Big Ten has made more money from television over the last decade anyway, and that hasn't stopped the Big 12 from winning national championships in men's basketball. It hasn't stopped the Big 12 from being ex- extraordinarily competitive on the football field and doing well in, in other sports. Big Ten hasn't won a men's basketball championship since, what, 2002? Uh, anybody outside of Ohio State has, has mostly not won anything of, of merit at the national stage. They're an embarrassment in college baseball outside of one year for, for Michigan. Uh, you know, it's a lacrosse and hockey conference and a debate team conference. And I say that as somebody who has a degree from, from a Big Ten school and is based in Chicago. So I, I, I think the most important thing and the advice I would give to any administrator in the Pac-12 and the Big 12 would be, we're going to do everything we can to earn more money. Right. Whether that's non-conference scheduling agreements, whether that is being creative with TV times, whether that's really being aggressive in licensing and sponsorship opportunities. We'll do everything we can that doesn't hurt an athlete. But if we go into a world where we know that Purdue is going to have $40 million more than us, I don't think there's a reason right now to think you still can't be competitive. If you can win on culture, if you can win on um, talent uh, uh, evaluation, and if you have engaged boosters – it's not like the Big Ten's going to be able to take that TV money and immediately donate it to Michigan's collective and use it for payroll purposes. That's just not the way the money works right now. Matt, what do you think of uh, uh, 